Mike Mixtape. Sit back, relax, you're in the Cinema Lounge. Hello. It's a lens flare. Welcome back to the show, Jada. Good to be back. Mm-hmm. Right, if my microphone works properly this time. I can hear you. You can, like, see the right side of my face. Looking gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So, uh, uh, what I originally wanted to do is something, like, um, different, but apparently this weekend, something dropped upon us that has to do with this topic, and I figure we, uh, kind of review slash react if we saw it, which is... I haven't seen it yet. I know I'm the only one ever. In the history of man who hasn't seen it yet, but I don't know. You have ten seconds. How long is the teaser? It's. I was gonna say it's longer than ten seconds, James. You dork. It's eighty-eight seconds. Oh, okay. Is it? It's a teaser. Did you have that never memorized? I was. I can't because I saw somebody post like it's eighty-eight seconds. It's it's a teaser trailer. It's it's, it's all exciting. it is. I suppose. All it is is just is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like seven or eight scenes cut to black. It's not well, even. I, I saw the lightsaber, uh, and mm-hmm. and I saw the the black stormtrooper in the forest, or not the forest, the desert. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, there's um. There's a ball droid. Like a bull on a robot. It was just weird. Um, there's a chick riding this mechanical, like, hover bike. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a hovercraft like the like the one in the New Hope. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like the one that Luke rides. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Only a little bit. It's a, a slightly different design, I think. It's, it's bulkier. It's, it's just imagine like um like an ice cream bar without the stick. <laughs> That's how I imagined it. And then there's the X wings flying. Captain. Incoming message. You have an incoming message, Captain. Yes, I do. I was kind of hoping that everybody would like have a thing. I guess your ringtone counts. I have this little Star Trek pendant that I have to signify that I'm a member of the Federation. Well, I brought. Oh boy. My Spock ear. <laughs> Wait a minute. We can't all have a Star Trek thing. Nobody has a Star Wars thing. I. I've... This needs to be an even debate. I think Matt would probably be the one with a Star Wars. Poor dude. Terribly un. I'm gonna be the one who, the one who's not Mike, who's in the middle ground. And by the way, this, not surgery. This was a natural. I have a lens. Oh my god. My hand literally disappears. Oh god, so I just. Actually, I just recently just rewatched the J.J. Abrams Star Trek films and. Oh, so many lens flares! Well, less than Into Darkness. Because that was like the one criticism that I guess he listened to. 
There were less lens players in Into Darkness than there were in the... No, there was more Into, in, Into Darkness than the first one. Really? Uh -huh. I... Somebody counted them, actually, and posted a video about it. Mm. Well, why the hell would he put in more? He... <laughs> Cause... It seemed to me like he put in less. I don't know why that would be, unless it had to do with, like, the sets being fancier. I don't know, but I was watching somebody count, and I was like, wait a minute, he counted every single one of them, and the second one has more than the first one. There is such a thing as having too much spare time. going to be on this mm -hmm. side. So you can exactly. Spare. Exactly. People have a lot of spare time actually to sit through a movie and count every single lens flare in a movie. But I actually added both films up, because the guy did two videos, the first one and the second one, and there was... It was, it was shocking, because I was like, what? This mad revelation that there might be... That there might be more than one... Uh, more lens flares in the second movie than the first one. Yeah. So maybe he... Maybe I gave J.J. Abrams too much credit. I never thought that that would happen to me. There you go. Here we are. 1,547 well, lens flares in both films. Together. Well, see, that's the thing, though. Into Darkness really had... It really felt like, at the end of the day, it was not... It was not bringing anything fresh to the table, but instead relying on nostalgia. Relying on retelling... Yeah, yes. I uh, certain certain points that that they previously previously done, uh, just for the sake of, oh, irony. Yeah, I just I just actually just got done today watching Into Darkness, and I was like, this is. I know I know how they were trying to incorporate the Wrath of Khan into the plot, but it's just like. I prefer the original better than this one. Everyone prefers the original better than, or at the very least, they should. <laughs> Fucking better. I'm surprised nobody, uh. It's like, I liked Into Darkness. But better than Cumberbatch. I mean, he, he's spectacular no matter what movie he's in. I mean. I liked Benedict Cumberbatch at first. I find that the more I see him, the less I tolerate him. Yeah, he's becoming one of those big outlet stars now. He is, and he's being very, very overused. Like, yeah. I was not happy to hear about him potentially being Doctor Strange. No. Yeah. I don't think he'd, he'd just play it like he'd play everything. Like, he'd either be awkward or he'd be sociopathic or he'd be some sort of Sherlockiest mixture of the two. Like, he, he's, he's great for what he does, but he has very little range. Even if what I think of him as a person, which is a whole other can of tomatoes. Captain. You think of actors as people? Beg your pardon? <laughs> you think of actors as people? I'm kidding. I know you're kidding. I have a hard time finding it very funny. Not because it's... Okay. Whatever. Um, I'm gonna yeah. do this so that we can breathe again. Yeah, Into Darkness is like a, a very weak Wrath of Khan. It's just like, it, it develops Khan in a way, like, it does describe who he is and his crew, but other than that, it's just, it's, it's too, there was way too much action. There was a lot of fighting going on, more than it should be, which... It felt like it wasn't trying to be very different from your typical Hollywood blockbuster fair, which Star Trek always strove to be something different and more unique and revolutionary from the what we usually see and Abrams did not give two shits about doing that. He just wanted to make another blockbuster and some fan service. 
Well, he's only producing the third one since he's been working on S Star Wars. You know, he'll actually probably treat Star Wars better since he actually knows a thing or two about Star Wars. Like, you know, he hasn't, he's gone on record as saying he hasn't seen a single episode of Star Trek, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Star Wars, I think he's got a little more information on and therefore might care a little more about. And the teaser trailer does show that, actually. There, there, there is no lens flare in the trailer whatsoever, which is a miracle. Mm -hmm. Especially with all those lightsabers. He could have the, given lens flare to, like, every lightsaber. And, um, it's Isn't funny, this, this trailer booms, and everybody else is making their own version of it. So one person does a, a George Lucas special edition cut of it. Like, he put, adds some stuff in it in the background. There's one where actually ever a guy puts all lens flares into the teaser trailer. So it's pretty funny what people come up with. Yeah, I got sort of a a collection of some of the best ones right here. Might as well share it with the group. I love the way that this article was written. Just the the wit of the the author is worth it. That um. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, yeah, the lifesaver is like the most like. <gasps> and the god, it's got a sheath now. <laughs> it's a sword. It's a actual sword with a hilt on it. I, I'm not. I don't think the two side thingies are meant to be like for the weapon ring, like the double sided lightsaber. The the most plausible theory I've heard is that they're like defense. You know. Because, you yeah. know, a lot of characters have been getting their hands chopped up. Okay, just load it for me. <laughs> and they just sort of figured out this uh, <laughs> this wonderful technology that that allows you to protect your hand. It's just a lot of... It's funny. I want the Keyblade. Is that bad that I want the... Hey! Disney does own Star Wars now. If they put Star Wars in the Kingdom Hearts universe for the next game... It would have to be blue, obviously, because Sora's a Jedi. I'm just saying. <laughs> Does anyone here play Kingdom Hearts? Or know of Kingdom... Oh. I know That's of it, but... <laughs> <laughs> I just um, played the first game, so... But, that would be pretty cool, actually. I like the hey, guys! Is that I'm Matt? Back. Yeah, it's me. Hey, Matt. Hiya, Matt. Hey, guys. Sorry, I just had to finish up a few things. So, how you guys been? Good, good. Good, good, good. 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 We've been very glowy, you know? And lens flurry. Yeah. Yeah. Very lens flurry. Very in keeping with the Star Trek very, spirit. Very Spielberg-like. Very G.J. Abrams-like. Very, very your Star Wars-iness have no lens flares. So we got we got like swap we got like swipe swipe. Oh my god! Do you have a keyblade back there too? Yeah. Oh yeah, I do. That is too funny. Yeah, we both got. We're just... We both got. God, here we go again. It's the second time we pulled our keyblades out. Yeah. We... You know, I have this that my brother made in woodshop. Although mine is made of metal. Well, and mine's made of metal too. Yeah, yeah but mine, like, yeah, my yeah. chain keeps on dangling and it keeps hitting the thing. Don't you feel left out, James? Don't you feel like the uncool kid right now? <laughs> I've always wanted the giant keyblade. I mean, we go into war. Even if you don't get the reference, James, you'll feel like you got the key to the city. This, this here, one. here you go. The winning team will be the last man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah. oh yes. Ooh, yeah. Nice back scratcher. I'm not gonna do that. Nope. Cause this yeah. is my first, and he'd get mad at me if I broke well, my up. back is, my back is not itchy, so. Yeah. <sighs> hmm. It smells like LT. So, so which one of us look like look like they belong the most in the Kingdom Hearts game? Well, I've got a Star Trek pendant. So. Yeah, but Star Star. Yeah, but Disney bought Star Wars, so. 
we'll uh, get into that. So I guess well, it actually, really counts as a Star Wars memorabilia thingy. Because we were saying that... Ooh, Mike's got his ringtone and I've got my thingy. James uh, has his web of neutrality. Yeah. I w- well, I was actually about to... I, I was actually mentioning like which one of which one of us three like you me or Mike would look like the most to be in a Kingdom Hearts game. Hmm. I don't know. And we are going to start the podcast officially. <clears throat> Since uh, is- any lounges or? So is the problem? I mean, I. The lighting is not too distracting, and there was a glitch part where you words were not right. Sorry. Yeah, that. Yeah. It, oh, I'm sorry. It, it, you're just yes. sort of posing right now. You're frozen to my camera. Oh, there you're moving again. <laughs> That's, not, That's not your imagination. That seems to be a common problem with you, James. You always see, like... Because you see people frozen. So, actually, <laughs> I want to ask... Let it go! Let it go! I'm not... <laughs> Actually, I got the DVD right here. I have to watch it. Wait, which one? What DVD? I haven't seen Frozen yet. What? The life you're living. Seriously, dude. I can't blame him. Actually, I mean it's a it's a it's a good movie, but I'm not I'm not gonna hold it up on a pedestal. I think it was okay. Like people say, it was on Beauty and the Beast level. It's not on Beauty. No, 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 no. It's like on, on, I don't know, our level. What's on a good level? Me, Vincent's level. Incoming message. Yeah, meet the Robinsons level. I'm going to stick with that one. Uh, I hated meet the Robinsons. I actually really like. I actually really liked it, but like, um, that a part of it is because like I was like since I'm I was reviewing all the animated films like of that year, and 2013 was like the host of so many horrible animated features. So like, at least have this compared to all the others. Like, yeah, I take this. It's pretty good. What else was there? Despicable Me Two was good. Monsters no, University was yeah. Good. It was okay. But like was there were some different. good ones, but when the, when the bad with the bad ones, they are like really really bad. Like but yeah. trust me. Uh, Escape from Planet Earth, Planes, Free Birds, Cloudy Two, Walking with Dinosaurs 3D. Did you just say Cloudy Two? Yes. Uh, yeah. Cloudy yeah. Meatballs because hold up, hold up a minute. I think you watched the wrong movie. Good, sir. She doesn't know. She, I she know. Doesn't. I've seen it. I've seen it multiple times no. out of my own volition. No, you, you just don't know. You just don't know. I saw the first movie. I loved <laughs> the first movie. I saw the second movie, and it was a fantastic masterpiece not, of fun times and food. Oh, you, no, you... Oh, no, no. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <gasps> she, she doesn't know. What do I not know? <laughs> no. She doesn't know. <laughs> I think I'm not being cool here. Because you seem to be reacting. Well, never mind. (laughs) Let's just move on. (laughs) Never mind. Always mind. Because we're here to talk about Star Wars and Star Trek. We're going to get back to this. (laughs) I'm going to find out what you guys have such a hate on for the wonderful, fantastic, cloudy movies. I enjoyed. I enjoyed the first one. Yeah, the first okay. one's fine, but what I enjoyed the, the first what one. The, what, 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 what did the first one have to offer that Cloudy Two didn't? Um, that's that, the, that it wasn't. Uh, 
Oh, in your face annoying all the time. In your face annoying. Huh. Who's not it in your face heart. annoying? It all has the time? a bit of heart. Like yeah. it does have like It was more focused it, on the comedy, was which was the strength of the first movie to begin with. The sentimental stuff honestly got cliched. Like, ooh, he's letting fame go to his That's head. That's a good focused. thing. The sentiment, like the heartwarming things, at least it's calm. It's relaxed. It like it has heart. That's what I liked about the, the movie so much, though, because the comedy was like over the top, and the animation was unique. It was something different from like the it Disney was Fair. It was more like a cartoon, like an older cartoon, you know, with with yeah, like the fluidity of the animation and the speed of the jokes and then the silliness of it and the you're, puns. You're implying that like it's good. I'm implying that it's fantastic and better than Frozen, both of them. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. I'm so <laughs> the young crazy. innocent one. The young innocent ones, they just don't know. I saw the movies. What could I not know? <laughs> it's, not, it's not the movies. It's me. It's, 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 it's Matt, mostly. It's just, <laughs> it's, it's just Matt. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'll just say this. After after all this, after we're done with all this, just yeah. go watch my reviews. Watch my reviews. You'll see. My favorite part just... of Finding Pants and Meatballs, too, was looking at all the food animals and deciding what pun they were. Like, hippotato messes and parrots, because they were pears. <laughs> oh, no. These um, are good things. Oh, no. What? These are good things? Yeah. Are... Yes. yes, but you are unleashing a level of hell upon yourself by saying this. You have your freedom of speech. Yep. Yep. I'm just I'm just enjoying myself by the innocence that she has and she doesn't There's know who she's dealing with. These are great mm. movies. Great jokes, great puns. Le- Matt, I wanna oh. hear mine has spoken. Yes, you know what? I wanna hear your two cents on your reaction on the Star Wars teaser trailer that popped up recently if you have seen it over vacation no i haven't i'll be honest can i can i go check it out now or do do i need to check it out now or uh jada didn't see it either so i want to check it out i suppose we could we put it on i want to check it out guys i'm gonna check it out i'm gonna check it out guys let me look it up on youtube and i'll post the link in the chat maybe so everybody can see it Hey. Right, check it out. Just let me just let me look it up right now. Hold on, let me do it. Don't no don't no nobody go online. Let me do it. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, let me do it. It's it's the biggest thing this weekend besides Jurassic World. I don't know about that. I think Star Wars might have Jurassic World beaten. You gotta ask yourself which is the bigger franchise here. Star Wars? Star- yeah. yeah. Jurassic World's nothing to sneeze at, but you know. Give me a sec. What the fuck? Like, it'll have, like, it'll be there, but, like, I don't know if it's going to be. It has three previous movies to Star Wars' six, plus, like, a bunch of TV shows and books. But it's dinosaurs over space. That, and I was, I admit, I was a little bit more. I I was uh, just a, a little bit more amazed by the Jurassic World trailer than I was, um,. The new Star Wars trailer. I, I, <laughs> I haven't seen the Jurassic World trailer either. I'm not that ex movies. You know? I've just been kind of like, eh, to the new Star Wars. I mean, I'll. Gwendolyn Korean of Tarth. I'll, I'll be seeing that for her. Is she going to be in uh, Hope Rises or whatever? Okay. Hope so- Rises. It's called The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens. Hulk Rises? Did you just say The Hulk <laughs> Rises? <laughs> Are they doing that crossover already? Nah, not yet. Oh, I, if they ever do it, come on, Marvel and Star Wars, that's probably the best crossover ever. Actually, we gotta wait until the Disney Infinity Toys of Star Wars comes out. Oh, yeah. That way the crossover like, could happen. You can get like 20 different links to it. But once, as it goes. I did uh, post a, the video in the chat if anybody wants to check it out now. 
Yeah, I've been trying to click on it. Skype, you son of a bitch, you do it again. I am already. I don't know what you guys are waiting for, so. I've seen it already. I'm waiting. Okay, actually, I'm gonna watch it right now. One, two, three, click. Wait, 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 wait for me. Ah, uh, fudge, nab it, James. <laughs> I don't. Wait. I. Okay, I'm watching. It's a white okay. screen and a loady mouse. Now I'm watching. Just. I, okay, watch it. I'm not. Computers. Playing Dutchman. Te technology these days. Okay, so we got sand. Just my technology these days, really. Oh, that's how it is. It's like three different tabs. What the? Hey, dude. Isn't this? <laughs> oh. What the? The Adventures of the Patient Bloggers. Can I take it back? I'm not patient. That's it? Yep. That's it? That's all you get. For you now. have been teased. And you gotta wait a year for it. Well, at least I'll know a bit of what it looks like, I guess. It's... it's just... yeah, it looks what? like, uh... I'm, really? Uh, I... Oh! <laughs> She's reacting to it. Surprise, Black Man! Delayed reaction, man. This... I can't see any... Oh, okay. I see the ball droid. Looks like... Do they really have to redesign the get that, um, like, why do they have to redesign the lightsaber to make it look like a freaking sword? Why did they have to make a double-ended lightsaber in Star Wars Phantom Menace? Because it's cool. That makes more sense. Well, why do they keep getting the really cool lightsabers? I mean, the Sith the Lord, the new villain, has the Sith this... One? How come the Jedis just have to stick with the original model? Huh? Huh? Because mm -hmm. they got more skill and creativity. So that and also they obviously not in their colors. obviously not in their design, but uh, you know in the moves. Maybe it's like the original model comes in many different colors than the other models. Well, if you had a light sword with a hilt like that, and you accidentally rub up a rub up too uh, cl too close on the handle. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, of course. Would you burn your fingers off? Oh, exactly. That's what I was thinking. I was like, really? You gotta... Oh, my finger! Well, there are swords designed that way. We have the exact same wrist. The idea is that you hold on tight. But I, I, I guess I guess the combat is just interesting for the villain, because he can be like a like a knight, you know, just like sword fighting, and just he can just go boom! I just kind of want to know to what purpose he was taking it out, because he looked like he was in like a dark forest by himself. I mean, there were some trees chopped down, I guess, so maybe there was somebody there. 
It's going to be a jewel in the forest. I thought he was going to go... It's only going to be seen in the trailer. I thought he was... Uh, he, well, he's walking up to a tree, so I figure he's about to, you know, cut down a tree with his lightsaber or something. Yeah, because obviously... It has more than one use. Light- because, of course, there are Je- Jedi lumberjacks. It's an odd little point. It looked like R2-D2's head on a soccer ball. Yeah, it's, yeah, that is true. It's yeah, it's called ball droid. Uh, it really just ball droid, not yeah. even orb droid or sphere droid. Something more professional sounding than ball droid. It, that that shot there is just for the kid. He's like, ooh, a little robot on the ball. Oh, the kids are gonna care about the ships and lightsabers well, just as much. Well, They're not gonna it's care very about ball droid. You got ball, and you got a droid. And you put it together and make your ball droid. And then I was watching some reactions because there's a shit ton of vi- reaction videos out there for this trailer, and that some gu- guys like that's R two D two, and I'm like, that is not R two D two. He's not even blue. If I'm they like, wanted to invoke R two D two, they would have been blue. I was like, that's not that's not a redesign R two D two. That's a different droid in general. How would yeah. that even happen? How would R two D two be in an accident where he suddenly needed to be on a ball? <laughs> I was thinking, oh my god, dude, just go away. <laughs> um, but yeah, and people are like, oh, I gotta wait, I'm here for this, fuck. Yeah, you gotta wait a year, just like everything else, just like with the Peanuts movie. Why are they releasing that trailer a year early? Yeah, yeah, oh. finally, it's about time that Blue Sky actually releases a great movie for once. Why like was Blue Sky? Blue, well, Blue Sky is the studio that makes like all the Ice Age movies and stuff. And I like the Illumination animation. So no, no, no. Made... They're no. They only made the Despicable Me movies and the Lorax. They're new. Are you sure they didn't make yeah. Ice Age? Hang on a second. Yes, door. I... Yep. No worries. I'm absolutely positive on that. You're mm-hmm. talking to the animation nerd here. He knows everything about animation. Well, okay. The first Ice Age was I. Yeah. It was I. It wasn't anything. It wasn't really like, great. It wasn't. I like Dennis Leary. Wait, which one you're talking about? Oh yeah, Ice Age. Well, he was in all of them. Honestly, yeah. it's been a while since I've seen um, the first Ice Age, but I remember it was it was actually pretty good. Like I actually end up watching all of them. The third one is like the best sequel, but it's like it's okay. The second. But how Land Before Time Four was the best Land Before Time sequel. It's still a Land Before Time sequel. Yeah, true. Right. The worst is actually Continent. Is the fourth one, Continental Drift. Makes sense. That's so... No, there is an Ice Age Five, isn't there? Or is that? Yeah, there's got to be an Ice. I think after Peanuts is going to be. Um, after Peanuts is going to be Ice Age uh, Five. But also, like when they release other films, they're like good but not great. Like, like you know what I'm talking about, like Rio, Robots, Epic. I, I, I really like Rio. Rio? I haven't seen good. Rio. Yeah, like it's good. good. I like Rio. I, I like Rio's the song. good, but I wouldn't consider it like a great, great film. You know? No, it, it's just, it had really good things in it. Like it had good yeah, songs, it, it had good side characters. It had a really songs. good villain. I really. The animation it. is nice. I love. Oh, I really, I really Jamie. like. Something. I like. He, he was also the bad guy in Men in Black Three. I will be back. I gotta go uh, check out a new car. He plays Ooh. new cars. Yeah. I'm a dude getting wheels. Dude's gonna get wheels. All right, so we're gonna be a little delayed tonight, so All right. it's not gonna be a big thing. This is an open discussion. Yeah, this is a new thing we're trying out. It's not like each of us have like movies to discuss. Well, technically we do, but like you know what I mean. Yeah. That's each, it. There's two sides and. Yeah, two sides. Dark side, a light side. <laughs> I thought you were about to say it. it's like it has two sides. Kind of like the new lightsaber with those two little things. <laughs> Technically, it has sides with lightsabers. I guess maybe James is the neutral side, which is, of course, the long one. Because he likes them both, so it's extra long. Well, I heard he is tall, so. Who's tall? 
James? 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 Yeah, he's supposedly tall, I guess. I this think. joke I'm is confused. Sure. Okay. Thank God I went through this week. I watched a lot of Star Trek in preparation. <laughs> oh it's my God, I just found this a lot, sorry. What did you find? There's probably... Check. <laughs> oh, <gosh>. <laughs> 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 Oh Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> I only That's have proof pretty... that James isn't here, so he'll be even later than me. It's loading. Wait, hold on, I got it right. Wait a second. Hold on, let's see if I have it on file here. Hold on. Uh... I, think I will be able to see it, right? Yeah. 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 It's just a picture. Okay. Yeah, I know, but Facebook is weird sometimes. Yeah, it can be. Why do I have an Wait, where is it? Damn it. Damn it all. Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> oh, really? It wouldn't load. It's that uh, stupid little torn piece of paper picture. There has been awakening. Have you felt it? Okay, somebody Surprise, tell me what's going No, he, he's, he's doing it. He's doing it. I just said it. Surprise, motherfucker? Yeah. The, you know the meme, Surprise, motherfucker? With the, the guy? Yeah, with the black guy. Yeah, that's, that's the joke. It's... There's been awakening. Have you felt it? Surprise, motherfucker. Because he popped... Because the black stormtrooper pops out of nowhere. And everybody... I've seen reactions. Everybody just, just like, jump scares. Like, jumps. Like, holy shit. Scare the fuck out of me. Okay, <laughs> in my defense, the video was being very choppy. So I wasn't quite sure what was happening. So everything was a surprise. Oh. <laughs> Alright. I didn't see most of the important imagery, though. So don't worry about that. Shall we? We shall begin as soon as James comes yeah, back. Yeah, but James, though. I, I know. That's actually that's, that's actually a sound bite from Into Darkness, which is perfect. Mm. Cumberbatch. You got any Star Star Wars sound bites, Matt? Star Wars sound bites? Uh, not with me actually. Mike yes. usually supplies the sound bites. I have the the buttons. It's all about buttons. You're doing a terrible job. Button, first. button. Who's got the button? Who side are you on? Huh? I. You wanted Star Wars. I got Star Wars too. I uh, it's. I will. I'll, I'll, I'll repeat myself in the actual episode, but I'll just say up front is that. I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan. I know of Star Wars. I know the original trilogy, the prequels. <sighs> gave me the spoon, but we'll talk uh, about the prequels. I'll talk about that. What that would be um i know the characters i know the lightsabers and i thought the lightsabers are pretty cool but otherwise it, it didn't thrill me it just it it's not it just so what side are you in star trek or star wars star trek oh uh, right, so is in you're, you're kind of alone it... matt cause... seriously James is actually neutral with both sides, but it's just... You're one and a half. You're one and a half oh. compared to two. And or... a half. <laughs> right, two and a half. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. It's going to be a one-sided argument, pretty much. Not much. Oh, probably. Yeah, I can depends. take you on. I can try. <laughs> I mean, I love these debates, man. I mean... It, it'd be nice if it was a bit more evil. Oh yeah, the Finding Nemo. Nemo's Yo, the Finding Nemo, Nemo, Finding Nemo, and Shark Tale debate. That is a just, monument. That was a a classic, and oh my god, that's why I want to do more debates because it just it just has this heated argument. And it's just good entertainment. Shark Tale versus Finding Nemo shouldn't be a long and hard debate. 
it was should be pretty open and shut. It was it wasn't long, but it was just it was just like boom boom. Okay, you, you've got Oscar winning Pixar film. Christmas film that tree. DreamWorks does not want to talk about ever again. You know the you know the embarrassing thing is that uh, Dr- technically Shark Tale is Oscar nominated actually. For what? Best animated feature. Well, clearly there were not a lot of animated features out that year. Yeah, that's what honestly that's what I was thinking. Hold on, I, I need to check. Yeah, well, Cars mean? Two did an Oscar nomination. So it was a better sick. movie than Shark Tale. Yeah, I'll say that it was a terrible movie, but it was better that than Shark be Tale. That could be kind of debatable, honestly. Hello. Hello, James. Hello, James. Mm-hmm. So, are we ready to start this thing? Yeah, it's longer than I sh- Oh, well, did, there's but... Home on the Rain now. Uh, let's see, maybe... Uh, well, there's The Incredibles, there's Shrek 2, Land Before Time 11... Okay, what were the have. other movies that got nominated for an Oscar? Um, I remember there were only three. There were Shark Tale, Shrek 2, and The Incredibles. Well, Shrek 2 and The Incredibles are both better movies than Shark Tale, like, by a thousand. Yeah, that's true. I'm guessing The Incredibles won. <gasps> oh, wait a minute! SpongeBob SquarePants movie was released in 2004. Why didn't that that's get nominated? Right it was. I remember that. It was the same year as The Incredibles. And that was a better movie than Shark Tale. That's a fish movie, too. That should be part Express, of this debate. The Polar Express. Better movie. Mickey, Is The Three movie? Musketeers with Mickey, Goofy, and Donald. I've That's never better. seen it, but it sounds better. It's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty decent, I will say. Oh, man, this is going to be... Well, you're telling me Polar <laughs> Express didn't get any Oscar nominations? Supposedly it had revolutionary animation techniques. Like advanced rotoscoping, I guess. No, 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 no it's uh, motion capture, it's motion capture. But Image Movers doesn't really have that... Like, the company that made it doesn't really have that much of a good reputation. A lot of people say that they look soulless. They hadn't and, made anything before Polar Express, had they? Oh, well, wait a minute. Well, okay, technically Polar Express did get nominated for other stuff, like Best Sound Editing, Best Sound Mixing, and Best Original Song. That's, not for that hokey little Christmas song that they had. That got another best original song. Believe. Do, 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 do. Yes, I don't know. I pray it didn't win. Shall we begin? I think yeah, we sure. Shall. Yeah, I think we're ready. Hour till midnight, and at midnight, I'm going to have to pick up this room. Yeah, like, it's, I woke up at yeah. 6 in the morning to catch my. to catch my plane to here so like I could be a little drowsy okay it's I only had like two hours of sleep this morning so I was up all night watching Star Trek and since yeah it's just uh since I got back from my vacation like I did like I'm pretty sure right now like I could have a bit of a jet lag you know what I mean yeah yeah I understand it's fine so I just kind of I kind of want to do like a a uh a cold open slash intro intro before the actual podcast. So I'm going to do something and you might get a kick out of it. So, um, <clears throat> going to dance for us? <laughs> sure. Let's call it a Star Trek dance from, uh, from the fifth movie. <laughs> Feather dance. Just kidding. Five is horrible. Ugh. Never watch, never watch Star Trek Five: The Final Frontier. Ugh. Oh. <clears throat> Space, the Final Frontier. These are the voyages of the star- starship Cinema Royale. Its mission: to explore this geeky debate of ultimate proportions, known as Star Trek vs. Star World. World, world, wars. Okay, <laughs> wars. Congratulations, you blew Start it right again. <laughs> <laughs> Redo. Uh, I, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Okay, rewind. Rewind tape. 